Hey everybody, this is Sonya. I wanted to do a little studio tour for you guys. I love watching everybody's studio tours and I am getting ready to go out of town. So my studio is actually um, very straight right now because I can't stand to actually go out of town um, having everything crazy in there. So um, it is pretty neat and, and tidy right now. So I thought I would show you. This is my number one art helper, um, Jasmine. Say hello, Jazzy. She's our rescue girl. Uh, she's supposedly a giant schnauzer, but uh, we we're kind of debating about that. So we actually just sent in a DNA test sample for her. So we're going to know in a, about a month what she actually is. So that'll be interesting. So this is my little office studio. It's teeny tiny. I love that it has these French doors that you go into. And um, I have these curtains that came with the house, and they're horrible. And I actually have finally, after five years, I'm embarrassed to say, picked out a fabric to have some new curtains made. So those will be uh, put up pretty soon. But you walk in here, and it's a very tiny little room. The previous owners had um, made it into the, a room, a nursery. So, uh, it is a good size for a studio, though. So, the first thing is my desk. This little desk I actually found on the side of the road in my old neighborhood in Baton Rouge. And I've had it for years and years and years. It's perfect. When we moved here, well, I guess about two years ago, we put wheels on it, which has been fabulous because I can move it around wherever I want to. Depending on what what I want to have on you know at the tip of my fingers, um, and at first I didn't think I would like it on this brick floor, but it's actually awesome because the wheels will sit down in the little grooves of the bricks and hold it steady, so I can still push on it and um, you know be pretty. It's pretty stable where it is. So the top, of course, I'm sure most everybody's art desks look like this unless you are much more diligent about covering them up than I am um, but I just kind of use it I do have those craft mats and all that but sometimes I just throw paint down it doesn't matter to me um, this is my most ingenious invention it is a thumbtack and I always keep a plastic bag right here uh, at the tip of my fingers to throw my trash away in because uh, I can't stand to have to get up and have piles of trash everywhere. I am always have a basket on this desk to throw stuff in there that I will file and put away later. Um, embellishments or scraps or whatever. Um, and I always have pens and paintbrushes at my fingertips and this is my little natural light lamp that I use. And underneath there I have a big basket of drop papers, scrap papers, um, deli paper that I use for jelly printing or whatever, and then a roll of paper towels and baby wipes. And then over here I just have a stack of magazines that are ready to be cut up for collage stuff. And then this is, I really need a new chair. This is just one of my dining room chairs that I use in here. Probably not the best for my back, but oh well. Um, okay, then these built-ins, my husband designed them for me, and they're pretty fabulous. So, we'll start over here. On the wall, I have um, this old collage thing that I bought years and years and years ago, and it's just a little weird, and I just love it. Um, and then I have this piece that I bought at a art show, and I don't know if you can see it, but... It's little blown glass flowers by this artist, Faith Wiki. If you're not uh, familiar with her work, look it up. Oh, she has some absolutely amazing stuff, including some much bigger pieces that have tons and tons of flowers, the blown glass flowers in them. Is that going to focus for us? I don't know how to work this camera. There we go. Oh, I just love them. All right, so that's all I have on the wall right there. And then I have the lamp and just some little doodahs. And these are really cool. These are also by an artist um, that I got at this show, art show. His name is Dooley. And he uses um, mineral 
these mineral powders and they make all these amazing patterns on all of his work. Um, if you can see them in the sun, I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. These uh, big starburst kind of effects with uh, these different mineral pigments. So that's, yeah, check him out on the internet too. Dooley, D-U-L-Y. And this is a little piece that my best friend brought me from an art show when she was out of town and I kept her three kids for her. And the artist is, I'm not sure if that's Erin Gooch. I'm not really sure who the artist is, but it's a, um, it's screen printed. It's, oh, it's so cool. I love that piece right there. And down here, I have um, some, I have my finished scrapbooks. I have art books, um, you know, like reference books that I use and a lot of reference, um, some gardening reference books too. And then these blue box, uh, blue containers that uh, are those boxes that open up, you know, they the lid opens up. And I have um, flowers, like, um, fabric flowers, ribbons, one's full of ribbons, one's full of um, old jewelry and stuff that I need want to take apart and make into something different or use for um, embellishments on journals. This is old books that I may or may not turn into altered books. Um, I haven't made a decision yet. Some of them I may just keep because they're old decorating books and botany books um these are some old punk rock fanzines from my old punk rock uh days that's a whole nother story <laughs> um okay and then there's this little indented area which is actually a, a little bench area but right now i have some stuff on top of it because i've been using it uh, to store stuff so these are just my pens that i carry with me everywhere and these are art journals that I have in process. I like to have them right at my fingertips. So if I'm painting or I have um, scraps or I have, you know, leftover sprays or inks or something on a stencil, I can just grab one of these art journals and um, not waste my paint or whatever. Um, down here is uh, chipboard letters and uh, scrapbook sort of things in process uh, that I'm working on right now. Over here is my paper cutter that I like to have at the tip of my fingers. Uh, another scrapbook in process. An inspiration book where I have magazine pictures and cut out things like that. And this is where I keep my deli paper and different things for collage things uh, this drawer is things I'm gonna make cards or tags out of and this drawer is um, tissue papers and specialty papers and things like that that I want to collage with um, over here in this corner I've got mason jars of buttons and different things like that that I want to keep embellishments of I have a stick I found in my yard that I think is really cool. I know. Is it weird that I'm keeping a stick? Oh, it's so cool, though. Look at that. Can you see? Is it just going to focus for us? All oh, that lichen. Oh, I just love it. I have this poor little begonia that I've actually been keeping alive in this Coca-Cola cup for about two years. And I really need to put it in the ground. But it seems to like it right here. And this is one of my most recent purchases. This is um, supposed to be vases, but I'm using it as a brush washing little station. Underneath here, I have, this is um, art journals I haven't started yet, papers, and these are coloring books that I love to pull, uh, cut the images out of. And this is just blank papers that I use for um, jelly plating or whatever. Back in the corner there is pictures and stuff that I need to scrapbook. Um, this is envelopes that I have been keeping. Under here is stuff that I travel with a lot. This is my Spirograph little case that I keep with me. 
And this is um, a little container of just all kinds of different embellishments. Brad's Owlets, um, just different just different stuff. Stickers, bling. And a lot of times when I'm going to a hotel or something and I want to play with my art journal, I'll just grab this bag. Um, underneath here I have my cinch, which I bought on a, a fantastic sale, sale, but I haven't actually used it yet. This is type and paper and copy paper for my actual real day job. And I use the, um, what do you call it, from Staples, the ARC system. So this is my paper punch for my ARC planner, planning and notebook system. Okay, um, on, in this section I've got my colored pencils. Oh, and they've gotten thrown back there. These are my colored pencils that I use for doodling. They're the Woodless Koenor pencils. I love them. These are my ink tents blocks that I like to have just right at the tip of my fingers. And this is my little travel watercolor kit that I take with me when I go out of town. Um, and this little drawer I just have like tools, um, scissors and pliers in my compass and rulers and circle templates. Um, and then I have these two sets of drawers here. And this is mostly, well this drawer has stuff that I like to have at the tip of my fingers all the time. Q-tips with the pointy tips. I love these. Um, I use these a ton. They have a little... Oh, focus. The little pointy tip ones. Um, and glue sticks, adhesives, lots of lotion for my hands because I wash my hands constantly and so I have that and glue dots and you know, that kind of stuff. Um, this drawer is actual office supplies, stapler tape, paper clips. Uh, this drawer is actual like business stuff. This drawer is post-its and notepads that I use mostly for work. And these two drawers are for my actual day job. And then down here, I have my personal printer and papers, um, a bird camera I need to set up. And these are my, um, this is where I store my 12 by 12 papers. Um, and these, these stackable trays, these 12 by 12 trays are the best. Um, I absolutely love them. Um, if you're interested in what they are, I can look at them, look them up. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they're perfect. And I actually had these, um, I had these two sections of this built-in built just to accommodate these stackable shelves. So I love them. Uh, in this corner, I have my rolling cart. And this has been so awesome. I just got it at Sam's not too terribly long ago, probably about a year ago. And it's awesome because I can just wheel it wherever I want to go in my office. However, I have my desk set up so I can have this, you know, right by my side. So in this box, I have um, all my magazine pictures that I've cut out for collage. I keep them on separate sheets of paper. I, I kind of glue them down just real lightly on pieces of just typing paper. So I have those. I have um, lots of loose embellishments for my art journals. Mainly stuff I, that I haven't filed yet or stuff that I know I want to use right now in this folder. And then I have a whole bunch of um, jelly prints that I either cut up or play with or doodle on or use in my journals. Um, they're, they're jelly prints that aren't necessarily good enough to stand alone, but there's pieces or reasons that I like them. Um, and then these are just two advent calendars I have that I want to leave out so I don't forget to do them. Uh, this is a Big Lazy Susan that I have on here that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. And this is my glues, Mod Podge, fluid medium, gessos, um, my spray bottle of water that I keep with me all the time, modeling paste, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, on this 
shelf I have my containers of sprays this is two containers of all of my um, stamps and ink pads down here is my gelatos and chipboard embellishments and then this is a whole container of just like birds and butterflies and stuff like that that I use on my journal I don't know why I like to keep those separate but um, I usually end up always taking them with me when I when I leave for um, work let me this is my most important accessory it's my little heater feet get cold in here and I don't like wear socks so that is usually blowing on my feet at all times um, this is my water soluble oil pastels and regular pastels um, and this is actually a little empty container a little drawer thing that I got and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet I may not need it in here this is let me pull this around here um, washi tape stickles and pearl pins and alcohol inks and distress inks and watercolor concentrates um, this is just a little container of all of my perfect pearls and this is a little thing I travel with some these little containers because I can throw those in a bag pretty easy so those are that's just some bling and this one is just some little um, just little embellishments uh, on this bottom shelf I have this is all of my stencils 12 by 12 stencils um, yes I'm a stencil a holic I love them. Um, these are little stencils and these are um, foam, what do you call that, fun, fun foam stamps that I've made um, and some of my hand cut stencils are over here so that's all in this box. Oh and then also in here I have um, this container which is all of my texture tools um stamps for not stamps but um you know little stencils and little you know paper bags and bubble wrap and screens and different kinds of masks and stuff like that so that's that and then i have um another thing a deli wrap deli paper that i haven't opened some duct tape and then this container is all of my 8x8 eight eight and 6x6 six six, uh, pattern paper. Okay, so that is this rolly thing. Okay, now we're going to go into the messy corner. So, this corner right here is my nightmare. I hate it. I don't know what else to do right now. This is empty frames, big canvases, and the glass that goes in the frames. Um, and boxes that I'm not sure what I want to do with yet. So I really need to frame some stuff. Um, there's also a couple of cans of paint down there. Um, blank canvases. These are blank birch boards. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what to do with this corner. It drives me nuts. I hate looking at it, but it is what it is at this point. Okay, this is my, uh, used to be my dresser in my bedroom, but... I'm using it out here now and it's actually working really well. I can write um, on the drawers. I use the those oil pastels, those water soluble oil pastels to write on my drawers and then you know they just it just wipes off with baby wipe. So that works out great. Up here on top I have these are all my paper punches. The this is scrap pattern paper. Uh, that I've put in there. It's all color coordinated in there. This is another, uh, it's a candle holder. It's got five candle holders, but I use it as a brush washing thing. It works great. This is my paper drying rack. It's vintage. Uh, it expands out. I can't do it with one hand, but yeah, it's like an accordion thing. Uh, you can tell what it is. I'll have to show it to you later when I can, when I have two hands. Um, Okay, then these containers are, this is specialty paper and cardstock scraps, like blank cardstock, cardstock scraps and um, 
doilies and metallic papers and fabricy papers and you know just things like that. And these two uh, containers are things that I'm going to make into journals, book cover type things. And stuff. Uh, this one actually has some papers and notepads and junk mail stuff that I'm going to put into some junk journals. Um, I'm not going to open all of these drawers because that'll be a little too much, but um, I have, you know, empty containers and this one has actual like hardware-y kind of things, hammer, that kind of stuff. Um, so I have a sewing drawer that has one little sewing thing in it because I don't sew. Like literally, that's it. Um, clean stuff for cleaning, glues, um, paint. That's a lot of like Annie Sloan paint and the Annie Sloan wax. This is stuff to make stamps and an, another um, big thing of um, pigment ink stamp, uh, ink pads. This is where I store all of my electronical um, accessories, you know, diff extra co cables and cords and all that kind of jazz. Um, this is just miscellaneous art junk that doesn't know have anywhere else to live, like um, cr regular crayons and here I'll open this one. Um, old spirograph stuff and tongue depressors and a hair dryer and. Um, oh, you know, extra things of water color and just, you know, all that kind of jazz. Uh, that big bottom drawer is paper that doesn't fit anywhere else. You know, big sketchbooks and um, big papers like that. So that's good for that. This is what I'm thinking about packing up to take to hotels this year but it's right now it's empty I don't know what I'm I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, move the desk okay this little this is one of those just plastic drawer things I think I got it at Big Lots or somewhere like that but this is where this is my jelly plates and these are all my acrylic paints um my ink gold different kinds of um you know different paints these are like pin, pin things with acrylic paints. This is this is everything that's not acrylic. Um, that's a shiny, you know, like a shimmery watercolor thing, and some PBO stuff, and my silks and magicals. This is um, this is tools. My brayer, and um, this is more like matte medium and. Of modeling paste and um, heavy gels and then the rest of this is actually just acrylic paints that's yellows and browns this one's green blues and purples and this one is reds and pinks and it's great too because wherever my desk is I can roll this it's on wheels too um, to wherever I'm working card table that I use if somebody else is coming over to play with me, which doesn't happen nearly as often as I would like it to. And then just stuck on the wall here, I have, these are some prints that my best friend's daughter did from a paper plate, and I just love them. That's a dog. That's a seahorse. And that's a duck. Or a, a seagull. And then this is actually a, a thing that we used when I was playing with her kids with my jelly plate. And this was where we cleaned the brayer off, and we figured out that it looks just like a face so I had to keep that and this is one of my own first jelly prints I ever did that I really liked so I just have it stuck up there for inspiration and then I have this little closet here this is the last thing and in this closet I have stuff that I don't use as often so up here at the top I have um, those are empty containers this is watercolor stuff so I have um, all my actual good watercolor paints and my actual good watercolor big palette and my watercolor brushes that I only use for watercolor. Um, this is beading stuff, an empty container that I have beans in. So if I have a bunch of my paint brushes and pens out, I use that to keep them um, just standing straight up so I can get to them a little easier. 
this is cardboard and chipboard and plastic that I can use to cut out for stencils. This is empty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I want to take this to hotels or that other thing. Ugh, I'm struggling with that right now. That's just my old Spirograph box and some reference books and some empty scrapbooks. This is, these are all my cutting tools. Hello. Sorry. Um, my cut, like circle cutter, my Fiskars cutters, um, extra blades for my paper cutter. These are empty, empty scrapbooks and these are paper page protectors, all different sizes of page protectors, more page protectors, um, empty scrapbooks. This is empty containers and, um, this little thing is, let me put this down this little thing is full of just little bitty embellishments like these little fish that I just like to have and little shells and um, wax seal things and fuses. I mean, I don't know, just junk that I haven't been able to give away yet or I don't want to give away yet. Um, empty containers. This is extra extra well actually this one is embossing stuff and this this is extra pins like duplicate pins that I have that um, will go in my pin case once those run out but I don't like to carry around duplicates that's my heating tool and that's that's all empty containers right now this is my sewing machine that I've used about four times ha huh. under the lamp my crafting mats and that down there is uh, all the stuff from my stained glass work and that is it so that's my little my little studio tour I hope you liked it and um, boy it's bright outside today but I can see I don't know if you can see I can see out my window I can see the very tip tops of some shrimp boats over there um, and now you know what the outside of my house looks like I hope you don't stalk me but uh, anyway yeah uh, I do hope you enjoy it. I know I love watching everybody's videos myself. And um, have a great week. And I will hopefully talk to you again soon. Bye.